For the past 25 years, Georgia Southern Wildlife Education Director Steve Hine has brought about 100 people out here to the woods of Bullock County for a very unique form of hunting that doesn't include a gun or even a bow and arrow. That sport is falconry, the hunting of wild quarry in its natural state and habitat by means of a trained bird of prey. You kind of put down the gun and you're really not a hunter, you're an observer. You train a bird to come back to you, it already knows how to hunt. So really it's an advanced form of bird watching. You're going out with a bird, the bird's hunting, and you're kind of watching it do what it does naturally in the wild. The birds are broken into two categories, hawks and falcons, with hawks hunting more in the woods and the falcons utilizing their speed, which can reach as fast as 250 miles per hour in the open field. The hawks tend to catch things that have hair, which is going to be um, here, squirrels and, and rabbits. And then when we think about the falcons, uh, the, starting with an F, we think about things that have feathers, so ducks and pheasants. As for this weekend's event, Steve Hine has been entertaining an ever-increasing group with various backgrounds from throughout the southeast for 25 years. We've got kind of an eclectic group that have brought uh, their own special uh, area of expertise, and it's my job as the host to try to put them on uh, uh, good game. And the thing I want to say is that we can't do what we do without the landowners, so the, to the people of Bullock County. And the reasons for the attraction to the sport are as differing as the variety of birds. When I was younger, I enjoyed the head count. Now I just enjoy being out in the woods and seeing the bird work and working with the birds and seeing their progression of learning to hunt with a human being. I think it's a bond with uh, a bond with nature, something that we don't get a lot uh, now in our modern lives, and it's uh, it's looking at the connection between predator and prey. As one ages in the sport, um, it's it's a way of kind of communing with nature. It, it gets back to what's real. In Statesboro, Josh Arbery reporting for WJCL News.